We're going to talk about the structure of the healthy foot and how it changes over time. So here we have um, some examples of, of sheep's feet. So this one um, is a foot that's come from the abattoir, um, but we've cut, cut the hoof in half so that we can see the structure of the inside of the foot. So if we look closely here, we can see that we've got the bones of the foot in the middle, and then you can see you've got the wall horn coming down here and the sole horn across the bottom. So this really allows us to see how thin the sole horn and the wall horn of a sheep's foot actually are. And this is really important because it, this is why it's so easy to actually damage a sheep's foot um, and why with disease it can be so painful for them because it's very quickly you will expose the sensitive tissue underneath. Another way to see this is actually by looking at this section of horn that we've removed from a foot. And if you look closely through this, you can actually see the light through the bottom of the sole horn. And this again really highlights how thin that horn is and how easy it is to damage that structure. On this foot, we can also see other noticeable points. So here we have the coronary band where the skin joins the horn. If we also look at a picture we've got here, we can see we've got the interdigital space between the two toes. And again here, this is looking from the bottom of the foot. Again, you can see this interdigital skin. This is another area that it's worth looking at when you check feet. Um, with conditions such as foot rot and scold, you'll often see redness in this area. So it's always worth checking that skin between the toes, as well as looking at the horn of the hoof. The length of the, the hoof will vary over time, naturally, with the, with the seasons. So in warmer, wetter weather, the hoof horn will tend to be longer. Um, whereas when the ground is hard, so in winter or when it's very dry in summer, the sheep will tend to wear this down. This is a natural process. The hoof horn grows gradually over time to balance out this wear and tear. So it's completely normal that the length of the hoof horn may vary at different times of year.